Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar. Run for the latest UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. We've got a cold northerly wind moving in at the moment but as we head into next working week things will be turning milder once again but unfortunately it is looking likely to remain very unsettled as we pro progress towards the end of October and start of November. A lot of runs have a fairly strong west to southwesterly wind moving moving in as we do kind of set up a really typical autumnal pattern could be further areas of deep low pressure and we could potentially see some further storm systems into november at the moment we're not really looking at any single area of low pressure with too much interest but from the looks of the latest setup it could be a breeding ground for some pretty severe storms there as we progress into the longer range so do remember if you enjoy videos make sure you like and subscribe now, if you start on the live radar, you can see we've got a typical north to northwesterly wind moving in at the moment with frequent showers across northern Scotland, Northern Ireland, and some streamer showers moving in for parts of northwest England and Wales. Uh, again, pretty typical with this sort of air mass. We've got cold but dry air, and the only source of moisture is over the ocean. And that's why we see the showers setting up across northern Scotland, Northern Ireland, and along the areas towards the Irish Sea coasts. There have seen some showers further eastward and southwards today but most of them have faded away now as we head into the evening you can see though there are some snow showers breaking out across scotland with quite a few of these having a wintry flavor even to moderate uh moderate ground there highest ground though starting to see some snow not too unusual for this time of year but it is the first proper snow we've seen in these areas throughout this autumn so far now, if you put on the temperatures, we're going this around 7 p.m. You can see temperatures are already rapidly falling away across Scotland and northern England, especially over the higher ground. And we could see quite a widespread frost in these areas come the early hours of Sunday. Further south and eastwards, already temperatures are pretty cold for 7 p.m. compared to, to recent standards, and they will drop away quite a bit further into the next few hours. Again, we're not looking at a widespread frost across southern England for example, but we are looking at seeing temperatures plummeting away pretty far, pretty close to freezing, widely probably two to six degrees, and locally in rural areas, definitely close to freezing. Now, if you have a look at the latest UKV, this has just run, so I haven't even actually properly looked at it myself so far. You can see those showers continue to fall overnight, but do fade away at times. Into Sunday morning, very cold, but bright start. And you can see quickly, we see this weather front moving in from the west as we see this small low pressure system interacting in western areas. And it's going to give some quite heavy rain and maybe even a bit of more persistent snow across the highlands of Scotland there as it moves in. So we'll be introducing milder air, but probably will still feel pretty cold out there with cold air trapped at the surface. Into Monday morning, we see a bit of a resurgence of that northerly wind, a few showers overnight, and where we avoid those showers, again, going to be a pretty cold start. And then into Monday, you can see the wind shifts once again, and we do head to more of a westerly wind by the end of the day. And you can see potentially a bit of heavy snow there across the highlands of Scotland, but for most other areas, it's going to be turning milder, and we are going to be seeing further spells of heavy rain as we start to see this proper west to southwesterly wind setting up. You can see that on the mean sea level pressure here, low pressure out to our west, high pressure out to our east, and seeing a southerly wind here, but probably more of a southwesterly wind longer term as we do progress towards the end of the month and start of November. So it is going to be turning very unsettled or remaining very unsettled with this slightly more settled condition over this weekend as a bit of a blip. But the big change will be the milder air. You can see with a southerly flow, we would be introducing some pretty warm, moist mid-Atlantic air which, yes, may allow the temperatures to rise towards the low to mid-teens at times, but it will be adding moisture to the air, and that will mean that we will likely see further heavy rain. Now, if you look at the max temperatures see this afternoon, it's been pretty chilly in most areas, low single digits further northwards, mid-single digits to high single digits elsewhere. Into Sunday, though, look at that widely close to freezing in northern areas and around that 2 to 6 degree range elsewhere into Sunday afternoon, still feeling pretty cold with most not getting much above the mid to high single digits. And then overnight into Monday, temperatures not dropping away as far further southwards, more around the mid to high single digits, so not much of a diurnal range there. Further northwards though, still potentially closer to freezing. 
into Monday afternoon. It's a bit of a milder day, 10 to 12 degrees in the south, but still cold across Scotland. And we could see another very cold night there into Tuesday. But milder air is slowly pushing in. And you can see for Tuesday afternoon, 14 or 15 in the south. And into Wednesday, it's a similar story. And finally into Thursday, you can see some proper milder air moving in. Maybe 16 or 17 degrees could start to encroach in the far south. Now, that doesn't sound terribly mild, but we are heading towards early November here. And this is kind of the lead up to winter so it is pretty mild for the time of year um but as i said it will introduce more moisture which probably will keep it more and more unsettled now if you have a look at the latest gfs you can see the northerly wind pushing at the moment with the mid-atlantic ridge slowly though that mid-atlantic ridge is going to fade away and then we can see low pressure systems just sat out to our west looking incredibly unsettled with a west to southwesterly wind all the way out into early November. There is the chance of some ridges of high pressure pushing in at times. It could give some dry conditions, but generally speaking, you see a west to southwesterly wind, relatively mild air masses involved. You see the temperature deviation most often is in in around the orange range. Yes, some small blue pulses pushing through some colder sectors, but predominantly it's milder air winning out. And as a result of that, Look at this, a huge amount of rainfall across the North Atlantic, extending to Northern and Western Europe, and it's basically just following the jet stream. We can see the jet stream streaming off the Atlantic and all the precipitation building up around it. So direct correlation here, incredibly unsettled, but potentially a bit milder there as we progress into early November. A pretty typical autumnal pattern, I must say. Now, if you look at the latest GM, it's very similar. Low pressure systems piling back in off the Atlantic later on next week, looking very unsettled, potentially pretty stormy, depending on how tight those isobars get. And you can see again a strong south to southwesterly wind to start November there. We'll have to see how deep those lows do get, but definitely scope for some really windy weather alongside the heavy rain. Very similar to the GFS though, it is incredibly unsettled. You see lots of precipitation moving in from the west. And yes, not ideal at all. Now finally, if we look at the latest ECMWF, this is the midnight run. You can see again, low pressure coming off the Atlantic, pretty much exactly the same. A more succinct low pressure system there for Halloween. That could be a really stormy, windy and rainy period. Maybe not a name storm, as you can see, it's not that deep. But it could give some pretty horrific conditions there for Halloween. And longer range, look what happens. We head into a proper unsettled spell with the tropospheric polar vortex emerging. Now, this is not really too possible earlier than kind of early November. And that's because the tropospheric polar vortex hasn't really formed. Neither has the uh, polar vortex throughout the atmosphere. But what we see here is the tropospheric polar vortex, which is deep areas of low pressure and very cold air that develops into a big, mean old blob of blue on this chart. And essentially what it means is very unsettled conditions, lots of cold air, yes, encapsulated within that, but very rarely does it actually impact us because remember the air is coming around that into the jet stream. And what we've got is a very strong temperature gradient and it's just incredibly unsettled these sort of patterns can brew the biggest storms we see um, so as i said i wouldn't be surprised if we went into a very stormy spell off the back of this but this is the kind of the first time i've seen this throughout the autumn the tropospheric polar vortex really ramping up of course it only is strong throughout kind of late autumn through the winter but yeah first chart i've seen with it really ramping up this year so far now finally if we look at the latest ensembles pretty chilly over the next four or five days returning close to average as we head into next week uh, and towards uh, and towards halloween and then generally around average maybe not too many above average or as many as i thought would be above average but it's milder nonetheless than it's been at the moment and you can see it is incredibly unsettled pretty low pressure no huge dips as i said no huge succinct low pressure systems we're focusing on this stage but definitely those could crop up and if we look at the two meter temperatures, definitely recovering over the next few days, closer to average around the low to mid teens. And if you finish by looking at the latest ECMWF ensembles, again, returning close to average or above average there into early November and looking incredibly unsettled as well. So not ideal at all. The next couple of weeks, it's not cold, but it is going to be very unsettled. Yes, milder air will be around, so you might get away with not wrapping up too much. But there's going to be plenty of rain um, and it is going to be potentially pretty stormy. But at the moment, just unsettled. It's kind of the headline figure 
It isn't too unusual for this time of year, but we have been kind of delaying this, been pushing off, and I've continued to say the past kind of month to six weeks, whenever we've seen a decent spell of weather, where if it's dry or warm, I've kept saying, do enjoy it, because we don't know when it's going to be the last, and uh, we'll see sort of the proper autumn and eventually winter descend. Looks like we are, we are there now with autumn. Um, does look unsettled, relatively mild, and yeah, lots of wet and windy conditions to come. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed subscribing if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.